This is Katie Colleen here. Welcome back, Colleen Clan, or if you're new, then come join the family for a video that has absolutely nothing to do with cosplay. <laughs> I am testing out my new free wheel, and I think this is gonna give me a lot more freedom and independence, and I just wanted to share that with you guys. So I'm doing a little vlog testing this out. But before we get out there and start rolling over stuff, I wanted to kind of talk a little bit about what the free wheel is and answer any questions you might have about it. <laughs> so, this is a free wheel. It's from Living Spinal, that's the company that produces it. And not sponsored, this costs $800 with the attachment. Okay, so what is it? So this wheel just attaches to the front here. You just put it here and then clamp it on like that. And what it does is it lifts your front caster wheels off the ground so that you can go over a uh, different terrain. Wheelchair users have a hard time on grass. And that's because these front little wheels get caught in a lot of different things. If there's a hole in the grass, these little wheels just can't get over it. They get stuck. Same with like changes in elevation, cracks in the sidewalk, uh, even my little doormat is difficult sometimes. Not to mention things like curbs or gravel or dirt. <laughs> and what the free wheel does is it basically takes these little wheels out of the equation, the ones that are getting stuck all the time. So with the free wheel, you're no longer getting stuck. <laughs> you can now roll over grass, gravel, dirt, changes in elevation, some curb drops. Like it gives you a lot more freedom to go to places that were not necessarily accessible before. Living Spinal has claimed that they can put it on basically any wheelchair. And I have the Tie Light Arrow Z Series 2. That's what Walter is. And I'd say that this wheelchair is one of the more difficult ones to set up for the free wheel. <laughs> so Walter is going to be looking a little bit different even when I'm not using the free wheel, I'm only really gonna use the free wheel for like outdoorsy stuff. So before I had a flip up foot plate. So it could flip between either being horizontal or vertical, depending on how you wanted the foot plate. And that doesn't really work with the free wheel because the free wheel needs to clamp onto the foot plate. Won't work very well if it could rotate, right? We had to completely flip this part of the chair around and then we had to flip the foot plate around. So now the foot plate is backwards from where it was before. And we had to fix it flat with this extra piece that we got to attach with the free wheel. But with this setup, I can very easily just clamp on and off the free wheel. Anyways, I think I have talked quite enough. So we're gonna head out to the park. My husband will be playing cameraman and he will help me get unstuck if I um, get a little bit too excited and uh, get stuck somewhere. <laughs> okay, so this path I definitely wanted to try out first. It has been like the bane of our Saturday morning stroll things. So we're gonna see if I can get over it by myself with the freewheel because in the past my husband just had to like wheel me over it. So we're gonna see if I can do it on my own now. into the dirt and just make a little hole in the dirt as I pushed. So we're gonna see if I can get over them now. Now we 
have to see if I can go up the hill. actually like not dead is much harder to push over. <sighs> oh, come on, almost there. So it makes it on grass. My little noodle arms just a very hard time pushing it over the grass. <laughs> but it can do it. <laughs> It was really cold and windy outside and I kind of wimped out after that last clip and we just went home. Yeah, the freewheel let me go to all these places I couldn't go by myself before. Uh, we quite frequently go on walks in the park, but I've never actually been able to go for a walk in the park by myself before. <laughs> you know, usually I go with my husband and otherwise I need to find friend, family, someone to always accompany me on these walks to the park just because there's so many things that I have trouble getting to by myself. <laughs> I may have kind of exposed how well the paths at our local park are uh, treated and taken care of. <laughs> I have not been to the Renaissance Fair in probably about five or six years because as soon as I started needing to use mobility aids, I couldn't go. I could not go to the Renaissance Fair anymore because it is held on grass. At least the one that happens here um, or anywhere near me. I have not yet heard of a Renaissance Festival that happens on paved concrete, but if there is one, like, let me know. So I'm really excited that that's an option again. I'm really excited that if I want to, I can go to the Renaissance Festival and I'll probably have to have someone help push me, but like I can actually attend. So I asked you guys on Instagram if you had any questions for me to answer in this vlog because I make cosplay content, hence calling cosplay. So whenever I talk about um, stuff like this, there's usually a lot of people who have questions because it's not something I usually cover here. Does it have a name? Uh, I have not named the freewheel. Uh, I feel like it's just an extension of Walter. Like it's not its own separate thing. It's just like Walter with an extra wheel on the front. Please, can you name the extra wheel Free Wheelie? <laughs> like Free Willy in parentheses. <laughs> uh, sure, it can be named Free Wheelie. That's fine. I feel like the majority of questions were just like, what is it and what does it do? I feel like we've covered that. Um, how will your wheelchair dancing change with the new wheel? Wheelchair dancing is going to be pretty much the same because I don't really foresee myself doing dance with the free wheel on just because it's uh, kind of bulky for dance. I guess if there was like a dance competition or festival or something on the grass, that's now an option. I hope you enjoyed this little vlog that was not at all cosplay related. I just thought this was like a really cool thing to share with you guys. Thank you guys all so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!